Hey everyone, this is Jono. Now, conference season is back open as the world is emerging. We're going out to meet real people at real events again. But how do you go to one of these conferences and events and have an impact without being a sponsor, right? So when you're a sponsor, you buy all kinds of perks and benefits, and that's great. But most of us are not gonna be sponsors at conferences. So how do you go there, not just be another drop in the ocean, but have a real impact on the attendees there and start driving leads and, and relationships and all kinds of good stuff, okay? I'm gonna walk through some super practical things in this video. Now, the first thing I wanna talk about is what, the, is what you do before the event, okay? Um, with many of the folks that I've worked with, um, they make the mistake of not prepping effectively uh, before they go to the conference and therefore they're not set up for success. So there's three things I want you to do, okay? And this is super easy, it's not gonna take a lot of time, but it will get us into the mindset of doing this well. The first thing is that you need a landing page that is going to showcase something that will explain what you and your company does, right? So for example, this could be a demo, um, it could be a, a tutorial, Sorry, my handwriting is terrible. Um, it could even be um, an ebook. Okay, that is a demo. Um, so something where you build a relationship with somebody at the, at the event, you get to know them, and then you can point them towards something where they can go and learn more about what you were talking about, okay? And ideally, this has got to have some kind of concrete outcome. The demo shows them how your product or your service works. The tutorial will show them how to achieve a particular outcome. The ebook will give them some information that will be useful to them. Something really practical. It doesn't have to be specific to the conference, it doesn't have to be specific to the event. This can be something you give to lots of different people, but make sure you've got that online first. All right? Super important. The second thing you're going to need is a business card with a QR code. And this QR code is going to link to the landing page, all right? So the idea here is that when you get to the event and you're chatting to people, you're building this relationship, which I'm gonna to get to in just a moment, if they're demonstrating some level of interest in what you're talking about and what your business, what your organization does, you can say, oh, well, let me give you a business card. It's got the QR code and you can say, go there and you can learn more about it or you can see the demo, you can see the tutorial, you can go and grab the ebook, whatever, okay? You have gotta have something that you hand them because otherwise you are just another conversation in hundreds of conversations at the event. All right? And also when they kind of get home and they're unpacking all this stuff out of their bag, they're gonna find that card, it's gonna rejig the memory of the conversation and then they're hopefully gonna go there. All right? If you wanna get really clever, you can actually use UTM codes inside of that QR code link to know that people came from that event, okay? Little pro tip there. All right, and then what you wanna do is before you go to the event is you wanna create a list of targets. Now. I'm not being creepy here, okay? This is not a list of targets that you're gonna kind of, I don't know, I'm not gonna finish that sentence because YouTube's gonna get angry with me, but the idea of this is that this is a list of targets of people you wanna, you wanna meet, you wanna have a conversation with, you wanna start building a relationship with. Now, who are those people gonna be? Well, in many cases, it's gonna be the speakers who are at the event, okay? It might be some folks who are um, the attendees, right? Oh my God, I can't type type I can't write what a disaster okay Hang on. let's do attendees uh, so it could be the, the speakers it could be attendees there may be other fo folks who are talking about going on uh, social media right and what you want to do is you want to just reach out to that list of targets and just say hey I am and introduce yourself if you don't know them and say I'd love to just kind of get together you with the event for just like 15 minutes and pick your brains about something, right? And you just wanna ask them some questions and kind of get to know them. People love to talk about themselves. People love to share their insight and their wisdom, especially when they've been in an industry for a certain period of time. So they're often very open to doing that, okay? Don't go and spam people on LinkedIn, like unsolicited um, mass LinkedIn um, messages. If you do that, you are an objectively horrible person. Never ever do that because you will officially suck in the world, okay? This is literally a one-on-one -on -one email to somebody. Don't do it through a social media network, just through email, and then ask them if they'd be interested in kind of getting together and having some conversations, okay? So that's before the event. Now let's talk about what happens at the event, okay? Now, if you've gone and done that prep, you're in better shape than most people who go to conferences. You've got a page that you can point people to, um, online, you've got a card that you can give them, 
okay? And you've probably already got a bunch of meetings booked because most people, when they show up at, the, at events, if they meet somebody, they say, oh, we should totally sit down and have a coffee. And then everybody gets busy, okay? So ideally, you've got a bunch of meetings booked, you've got your landing page, you've got your business card. Now, at the event, there's two things I want to focus on here. The first thing, and this is going to, it, this is going to annoy a lot of you, okay, um, is to ignore the sessions. You know, at the event, there's going to be loads of presentation sessions and keynotes and panel discussions and all this kind of stuff. Go to these sessions if you are interested in them, if you want to learn something that's going to benefit you and your experience and your knowledge, absolutely go to them. But those sessions is not where you're going to get the most impact from the event, okay? The most impact from the event is going to be meeting people, talking to people, building relationships. And in those sessions, everybody's going to be sat down watching someone speaking, right? So there's no discussion, there's no conversation there. Okay, so only go to those sessions if you are interested in the topic and enriching your knowledge and experience from it, okay? Instead, what you want to focus on are three main places, okay? The first place is going to be the hallway track, or what we call the hallway track. And this is basically the bits of the venue where people are just kind of mingling. Uh, it's usually going to be near coffee shops and in the registration area. It might be outside. Um, it might be, you know, just all of these kinds of just avenues, the hallways of the event. This is where people are going to be just stood around having conversations. And I'm going to get to how you go and have those conversations in just a second, but focus on there, okay? Because you want to basically get there and just have discussions with people. The second place is going to be the social events, okay? The social events are super important because this is a place where it's all about conversation, it's all about discussion, and also people are in much more of a social, conversational mindset at the social events, so it's gonna be easier to start having a conversation with people, okay? But the third place that you're gonna to wanna to focus on is gonna be the exhibition area, okay? So there's gonna be booths and stands and things like that in the exhibition area, and that's great, but a lot of people are just gonna be kind of mingling around the exhibition area and just chit-chatting, okay? So absolutely focus on those. Do not focus on the sessions unless you want to go and learn something specifically for your own education and knowledge, okay? So once you focus on those areas, what are you supposed to do, okay? What are you, like, why are you going to those areas? Why, Bacon, tell us why, tell us why. Am I just gonna go there and eat cookies and, you know, drink buckets and buckets of coffee? No. The number one goal that we've got, okay, here, is to build relationships, okay? The big mistake that people make when they go to conferences is that they go in there and they try to just focus on awareness of their product, awareness of their service, okay? That is the wrong thing to do. So there's three things I wanna talk about here that you should focus on, okay? The first one is to focus on service, okay? So imagine that you, look at that, look at the state of my handwriting, it's horrendous. I blame all of my teachers growing up. Imagine you go to the hallway track, you're hanging out, you, you've just bought a coffee and you stood there and you stood near a couple of people, right? Just walk up to them and just say, this is if it was me, I'd go up and say, hey, uh, I'm Jono, nice to meet you. And they'll say, oh, hi, I'm Mindy and hey, I'm Erica or whoever it might be. Uh, and then you just say, yeah, uh, what do you do? How, how are you finding the conference, right? And you just start asking them some, some questions about their experience, okay? And that's how we start building these kinds of relationships. Now, um, some of you, this is gonna be super awkward if you are a little bit kind of socially awkward, but just go and have a go. The worst thing that can happen is somebody's gonna not talk to you or make it clear that they don't wanna talk to you, and that's fine, screw them, okay? But just go and start the conversation. Now, at some point, when they start sharing about their world and ask them about their work and their career and maybe talk a little bit about their family and their interests and how they got to the conference, all this kind of stuff, uh, when you start learning more about them, then figure out a way in which you can help them. So let's say somebody uh, says, you know, I'm really enjoying the event, but you know, I'm just kind of not sure which sessions to go to. You could say, oh, well, I actually went through and made a big list of all the sessions I'm gonna go to. You know, I'm happy to share the list with you. Or maybe they say, Oh, you know, one of the things that you know my company has been struggling with is building awareness online. Maybe that's your area of, it, of expertise. Say, oh, well, I'd love to. I'm happy to just kind of sit down with you for half an hour and share with you what I've learned. 
But what you do is when you do this is you do not focus it at all on your products or your service. You don't want, do not want to give them the impression that this is a sales pitch. This is just you being a good human being towards another good human being, okay? So focus on service. This gets back to something that Seth Godin says, who's an amazing marketer, and he says, the way good things will happen to people who provide service to other people in, in service of their success. So if you help other people to be successful in what they're doing, they're gonna be much more likely to be interested in what you're doing, okay? So focus on that. The second thing here then is once you've started developing this relationship a little bit is to ask for guidance, right? So once you've provided a bit of service and helped them in some way that's gonna be useful to them, then what you wanna do is say, you know, would you mind if I asked you a couple of questions? And then just ask them about, you know, let your vulnerability out a little bit, share with them a little about what you're trying to do, and then ask for their guidance as well. So for example, if you're in a new business area and you say, okay, well, you know, we're kind of new to the market, we're kind of figuring out what's going on, and we're not really sure how to understand who our target audience is. Do you have any recommendations on how we might want to think about this? Or what you might want to say is, you know, um, we've been struggling a little bit to kind of uh, move our social media forward. Um, you know, I saw that with your social media, you're doing some amazing work. Is there anything you can recommend? Like, is, what, what, what should we not be doing, right? When you kind of open up your vulnerability and ask for some guidance, in many ways, people are very happy to share and talk, especially if you've already provided the service to them, and it continues to build that relationship. And this is what it is all about. It's all about building relationships. That is the number one thing when you go to a conference. It's not about the product, it's not about the company. And this leads me to the third thing here, which is never, and I'm gonna underline this, okay, never hard sell. The amount of times I have been to a conference and I've been walking around the exhibition area and someone at a booth grabs me and starts, immediately leaps into the conversation about, about me and, you know, whether their product's gonna be a good fit for me and they haven't even began to you know, try and have a, uh, build a relationship and get to know me, it's just instant like, you're no, absolutely not, right? That's not happening, I'm not interested, right? Because it's so utilitarian, it's so focused on the transaction that I'm just not interested, okay? So never, ever, ever, ever hard sell people. You wanna to get to a point where you've provided service to them, where you've built the relationship, you've asked them for guidance, where then the subject of your business, the subject of your product, the subject of your service naturally comes up, and then what happens? You hand them one of those business cards with your QR code. And when you hand that over, and they can go to the landing page where they can learn about more about your product, your service, and how it works, then you've been successful. All right, so that's it. Hope this was useful. As is always the case, I always love to kind of hear your questions, um, if there's anything you'd love to discuss about any of this stuff, I'm an open, open door, open book. Let me know, and I'll see you in the next one.